Once again, it is my pleasure to welcome all my Manna TV viewers to the healthy zone. 3rd John verse 2. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you. These days, many of the serious complications are so serious and complicated, the medical treatments may not satisfactorily heal all the complications. Therefore, today, I would like to give some information about the type 1 diabetes and how it can be managed well. My main focus is about ty type 1 diabetes. Diabetes mellitus, it is also known as insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. In short, it is called IDDM. This is also known as juvenile diabetes, but this term is not in use that much because juvenile diabetes usually used to get for children and teenagers, but it is not true always. There are people over 30 or 35 years old, people also can get type 1 diabetes. Therefore, insulin dependent diabetes is, no, is good to be called type 1 diabetes mellitus, but it may not be that appropriate to call juvenile diabetes. Another reason why the term juvenile diabetes is not used because nowadays children and the teenagers of the same age group are getting type 2 diabetes instead of type 1. There are several reasons for the type 2 among the children and teenagers. Number one, this malady is found upon the youngsters because today's children are not physically active as their previous generation. Second, this is also because of affluence. Today's parents are richer than the previous generation and wealth is in abundance. Everything is available and affordable. Number three, wrong choice of foods. Example, refined foods, deep fried items on the dining table, fatty foods, usually no vegetables or fruits to consume, and also drinking more and more beverages of sugary type. All these points I mentioned will make youngsters overweight and obese, making the way of type 2 diabetes, not type 1 for this group. Characteristics of type 1 diabetes. Patients having type 1 diabetes do not produce sufficient amount of insulin by the pancreas or not at all. In type 1 diabetes, the insulin producing beta cells of the pancreas are completely destroyed and so far there is no any known mechanism to arrest the pancreas or, of destruction. This is an autoimmune disease too. That means our own immune system, which is supposed to protect us from infections and diseases, turned against us to destroy. In the case of type 1 disease, the immune system targets the beta cells of the pancreas and gradually or suddenly destroy the whole group of cells resulting in type 1 diabetes mellitus. Most probably, this is a hereditary characteristics manifested in 
our young people. Then there is another viewpoint about the development of type 1 diabetes mellitus among the young people. Probably a virus or viruses involved to start the disease. They gain access to the pancreatic beta cells and destroy them completely and curtailed the insulin production and a permanent shutdown of the hormone insulin. When the type 1 diabetes appears in children and young people, they show symptoms like number 1, excessive thirst, that is called polydipsia, a desire to drink more and more water. Then, excessive amount of urine discharged. This is called polyuria. Large volume of urine is discharged often and more often. Number three, rapid weight loss. The youngsters having type 1 diabetes, they are prone to lose weight comparing with the same age group of not having the disease. Number four, lethargic. That means they do not feel well. Most of the time, they feel sick. Number five, fatigue. That means no energy at all. They feel very difficult to move around. If prompt medical intervention is not done on time, the blood sugar level will rise faster because there is no insulin production to stabilize or normalize the sugar content in the blood. And this situation demands utmost care and a proper treatment plan to save the life. If not, then acidosis will follow. It is a very precarious condition. What is acidosis? It is an accumulation of acid causing a disturbance in the acid-base balance of the body, often seen in type 1 diabetic patients. Therefore, acidosis or it, is, it can be called ketosis is a condition that develops in diabetic patients because there is no insulin produced by the pancreas. There will be a sudden and dangerous increase of glu glucose in the blood. As a result, there is a disturbance in the acid-base balance. When the insulin production stopped and sugar level continues to elevate dangerously, body starts burning fat for energy. When insulin production stopped and sugar level continues to elevate dangerously, body starts burning fat for energy needs and ketone bodies are formed in the urine of type 1 diabetic patients. Ketone bodies in the urine indicate lack of insulin. If the ketoacidosis is not rectified immediately, then patient will go into shock, coma, and eventual death. It is a life-threatening situation, but it is not that hopeless. If preventive measures are taken appropriately and promptly, what can we do? To remedy the situation, number one, start giving fluids without delay. Number two, start exogenous insulin 
to bring hyperglycemia down. See that the glucose level is coming down gradually to the safe level. Number three, correct all electrolytes deficiency on time. Once these remedial areas are well taken, then type 1 diabetic patients will come out of the problem miraculously and well again to live a healthy life with insulin injections. It is also possible to define type 1 diabetes when there is the presence of ketone bodies in the blood of young people in the absence of insulin production. Usually type 1 patients are thinner and leaner than the same age group. Daily insulin injections are the only treatment for them. Management and control. Management of all types of diabetes depends on prudent lifestyle modifications. 1. A diet appropriate for the disease. It does not matter whether you are a type 1 or type 2 gestational or any other specific type of diabetes. A healthy diet plan is necessary for a healthy life. A diet plan suitable for diabetic is almost the same for the cardiovascular disease too. Number two, have a good exercise program designed to fit for the diabetes patients. Have a good exercise program designed to fit for diabetics. It should satisfy the needs of individual patients to control diabetes. Special consideration should be given to the young and elderly patients not to get any injury while performing exercises. Number three, what about your anti-diabetic medications? Never forget to take your anti-diabetic medications as prescribed by your doctor. This will help you to keep your glucose level normal so that your chances of getting hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia are minimized. Watch out your blood glucose level, that is fourth point. Check your blood glucose every day so that you know the trend to make adjustments with medications and diet. Number five, no need for disappointment. If the blood sugar level is abnormal, do not be frustrated if your treatment is not showing the results you are looking for. It happens to everybody once in a while. You are not alone in this dilemma. Probably you were sick or admitted in a hospital due to some infections. Then blood glucose level may go up. It will come down once the infection is over. Or you may not have taken sufficient medications or forgotten to take them. It happens to many patients. You are not alone. Do not be discouraged or angry to yourself. You will be able to correct the mistakes and then you will be on the right track again very soon. Diabetes is not a ferocious animal ready to pounce at you. It is a tameable animal ready to walk with you all the way. Do not make that animal angry by your negligence and make necessary adjustments without delay so that 
that animal can walk calmly with you. Anyone who has diabetes mellitus, whether you are a type 1 or type 2, you can have a normal or near normal life and make your life joyful. There is also a honeymoon phase for type 1 diabetes. What is this honeymoon phase? Type 1 diabetes Type 1 diabetic patients get a temporary remission soon after they are identified as type 1 diabetes mellitus. Somehow, pancreas produces enough insulin for the no normal carbohydrate metabolism to keep sugar level normal. This phenomenon is called honeymoon phase. This duration for this phase is short lasting for few weeks or few months. For some people, uh, for some people it may linger a little more longer. Why this honeymoon phase uh, to type 1 diabetes? There is no definite answer to give, but it happens. This is only a temporary remission. This is not a cure. Diabetes cannot be cured. Diabetes cannot get cured anytime, anywhere. Meanwhile, see that you make your life a happy one even though you go through the problem. You go through diabetes type 1. How can you make your life a success? Number 1. Say to the sugar, no more sugar. I am fed up with you. Number two, say no more smoking. Smoking increases the risks for diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Say no more alcohol. Alcohol has no food value and no nutrients. Number four, take a low salt diet. It will protect your kidney, control high blood pressure. Do not forget your exercises. It can actually keep your diabetes under control and lower your insulin requirements. This way, you make your life a happy one because diabetes is down and complications are few and manageable. Psalms 147.3 He heals the broken hearted and heals up their wounds. Think about this till the next talk. Dear Manna TV viewers, I like to give a new information about the number of people having diabetes around the world. According to Indo-Asian News Service, there are about 425 million people around the world having diabetes. And this number is expected to increase to 629 million by 2045. What a problem we are going to have today in this world. That means many more people are living with diabetes but they do not know they are having diabetes. And this number 
is in staggering proportion. If today we have 425 million people around the world having diabetes, then think about another 425 million diabetic patients unaware. When I say unaware, they do not know whether they have di diabetes mellitus, but they are walking with diabetes mellitus. So this is my main concern, why I am giving this health talk in Healthy Zone, so that every person who listen to me will understand the seriousness of diabetes mellitus and how we can overcome this disease by our own lifestyle changes. And I hope everyone who listen to me will take a step to have a very healthy life. In conclusion, I would like to quote Psalms 147 verse 3. He heals the broken hearted and heals up their wounds. What a beautiful statement our Lord is giving to us as an encouragement. If we are sick, don't worry. If you feel tired, don't worry. And if you are discouraged, don't worry. Because we have a God who listen to us. We have a God who is very compassionate and understanding. That's why in Psalms 147.3 says, Our God heals the broken hearted and heals up their wounds. That means he will completely make us well. This week, live with this thought that we have a God of understanding who can take care about our problems, including diabetes mellitus. God bless you. Mm -hmm.